Mimi, the first time in 50 years yes. that a Miss Puerto Rico is joining the Miss America pageant. Is that an added responsibility for you? Do you feel the weight of the world on your shoulders? <laughs> Well, definitely. I mean, it, it's a mix of emotions because obviously you're excited, but then at the same time you're like, wow, I'm representing Puerto Rico for the first time after 50 years. So there's a lot of responsibility you, you want. You don't want to let Puerto Rico down. So yesterday I already gave them a little bit of happiness when I won the swimsuit preliminary. And, but yeah, it's definitely a great responsibility for me. What's the, the mood of the island supporting you? Great. I mean, everyone is really excited. Puerto Rico, I've always said that they have like three, their top three sports are boxing, politics, and pageants. So it, being in pageants and always winning or doing good in pageants in Puerto Rico are always really celebrated. For example, when a beauty queen wins a pageant, they usually receive her with a great celebration in Puerto Rico. People usually have their day off at, at, at their works. So I know that they're really into this for the first time again. Do you happen to know why Puerto Rico has not been in Miss America for 50 years? Well, actually, they haven't really explained it to me exactly what went wrong. I know that we had the franchise. The last time we competed was in 1961, and after that we didn't compete until now. I think it was something about somebody that wasn't uh, able to get the franchise anymore, so I don't have the details cleared, but I do know that the last time it was 1961. Is this your first visit to Las Vegas? And if so, what do you think of this place? <laughs> well, actually, ironically, I was here last year. And my first day, I was walking on the Miracle Mile, and I see this red carpet, and all of a sudden, all of these girls walking down with tiaras and sashes, and there were the girls from the Miss America pageant. That moment, I was like, well, this is a weird feeling I'm having right now. And three months later, it was announced that Puerto Rico was going to come back into Miss America, and here I am. So it's a really ironic story, but I had been back in Las Vegas. I had a great time, you know, going to all of the hotels and just having a great time. So you love this city? Yes, I do. I love it. What do you think of all of your 52 other fellow contestants? I think they're all beautiful in, in so many different ways. They're strong contestants. They really want this. We're all here because we all want to be Miss America. And it's just been such a great experience for me to meet them all. I've been having great friends like DC and Virgin Islands. We're always joking around that we're like the known territory, you know, we're the territory girls, we're not the non-state girls. So it's been really, really fun to really do really great friends. Um, Thursday night after the third preliminary, you have to vote as to who you think the top 12 girls are. Yeah. I am presuming you're not allowed to vote for yourself. No, we can't vote for ourselves, no, not, so, <laughs> not allowed. Is this going to be really difficult for all of you to vote for 12 people and not yourself come Thursday night? Well, actually, each of us are divided in groups. It's Mu, Alpha, and Sigma, and each group, you have to choose four from your group. So I have to choose four contestants that are part from my group that it's not, I'm not included. And yes, it's a little bit difficult because, you know, you, you have so many great bonds of, of these girls that you just have to pick four. So what we've been said is we have to wait till the last preliminary so we can really have a good justice of who can be the overall Miss America. Last night, congratulations for winning Thank you. <laughs> uh, the swimsuit and your first $1,000 Miss America contribution for scholarship. What's that feeling like to uh, strut out there on the stage in <laughs> the briefest of bikinis? Yes. Well, I've always, I live in Puerto Rico. We're a Caribbean island, so it's always hot. Everybody's always in, in, the, in the beaches, so it's normal for us to be in swimsuits in, in summer and even all the year round. So when I just go out in swimsuits, I think it's the most fun part of the pageant because you can show your personality, your fitness, and, you know, that you can be gracious at the same time. So it's just really, it's just really fun to do swimsuit for me. Nerve-wracking? No, not at all. I think that's the most stress relief activity that you can have in a pageant. Okay. What do you think that you have, and what do you think that the judges are looking for? Well, what do I have? And hmm, I think I'm just unique in my own way. You know, being from Puerto Rico actually just adds a little bit of that uniqueness. I probably walk, talk different from the other girls, so that's always going to stand me 
it's going to put me apart from the other of the 52 contestants, which is good because in the pageant where you're competing with so many beautiful girls, you have to, you know, say this is me and, and mark a difference. The judges, well, basically a well-rounded person, you know, a talented woman that's beautiful, that's fit, that's really community service-wise, and I think just an overall person that can do a great job us in this America. So come Saturday night, how many of the four million people who live on the island of Puerto Rico are going to be watching you? <laughs> I think a lot of those million people from Puerto Rico, and actually people in the States too. There's a big population of Puerto Ricans in the United States, so I know that both in the island and here in the States are going to be really right there watching TLC to see us in the pageant. If you are crowned Miss America, not Miss Puerto Rico, yeah. <laughs> Miss America, what are you going to do for the next 365 days? Are your bags packed? I still haven't think about that. I know we only have to have one, one, one luggage, which is really difficult for me to do. But basically, we're going to be traveling around the country, different states, uh, visiting the Children's Miracle Network hospitals, working for different cause. We have new sponsorship with uh, Artistry Makeup, with also with GSY. We're also promoting Nature's Water Bottles. So it's just really fun because we're going to be doing so many things throughout the year around the different states of the country and territories too. So you're ready to be Miss America and take on the duties? Of course, ready to work. <laughs>